Hello everyone and welcome to another J. Robinson Art Peel Off Painting Project. Today we're going to be painting a very cute little picture called Bird on the Weeds. This picture is very monochromatic. It has a few colors in it, but I think it's a very nice painting for anyone who's looking to just explore their creativity, kind of test out the materials and see where they can go with it, and I think just have some fun. So before we get started, allow me to just tell you about some of the equipment that we provided for you. In a J. Robinson Art Peel Off Painting Kit, you always get everything you need for that project. We provide you with a plastic apron. We also give you one paper towel. I would suggest you get a couple more, but you may not need any more than one. We provide you with a very nice paint set, paintbrush set comes with a lot of different brushes. Some of them you might not even use for this project, but it's good to have for future projects. We also provide you with a plastic spatula to be able to remove the peel. I like to hold it here and use it on any one of these or corners to just dig up anything and pull it up. We'll get to that in a moment. The colors we'll be using today are white, black, purple, and pink. Again, these are very limited colors, very monochromatic. We also have a cup of water that we don't provide, but you can get one and just keep it to the side to clean your brushes. I like to fold my paper towel and keep it near me. I never crumple it or ball it up. I just wipe my brushes on it until it gets saturated and then I'll flip it over before I get to a new one. It has nothing to do with being cheap. That's just the way that I work. I've also have a couple of my own little beat up brushes that I'll be using today. Let's see if I can show you them real quickly. Uh, they're nothing fancy, but they get the job done. And again, you always want to just work with whatever's comfortable for you. These are my go-to beat up brushes. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint in our sky, which is primarily, again, a monochromatic tone. So I'm just going to take some straight purple and I'm going to start painting near the top here just to put in some color. It's a nice dark value just to start me out. And then as I come down, I may tap into just a tiny bit of white and the purple again just to kind of lighten that color up just a bit. See? See how it lightens it up just a little bit. Should have taped it down, but since I didn't, let's just keep moving. Just going to brush this in. Okay. I'm going to come down a little bit more with a little bit more white, a little bit more purple. Let's go even a little bit more down here with this color. And this is great. I may go back and add some darker values, but we'll see. So as I'm coming down, now I want to introduce just a slight bit of pink and maybe a little touch of purple together. Just to start bringing that color into the mix. So you see how that purple and that pink mix together to give a slightly different value. I'm just going to keep working my way down. And then maybe coming a little bit closer, I'll just go into some straight pink and maybe just hit that off right about here. I'm just scrubbing the brush. You can hear it. I'm just working my way down. Let's go with a little bit more of that purple just to... Make a slightly larger distinction here. Yeah, blend this in. See how I'm letting the colors kind of slightly mix together? Maybe now I'll add a little bit of white and a little bit more of this pink. And I'll just bring that right down in here just to change the value slightly. See? And then believe it or not, I'm actually going to go back into a little bit of purple again, but this time purple and a little bit of white, leaving the brush dirty like it was and just hit that color one more time. Just because I can, that's my sky. This is my sky. And now to go back again, I'm gonna grab just some pink, not cleaning off my brush at all. I'm just gonna hit that right here near the top. See how it's starting to make its way down, but you see how that sky is, is bright, colorful, warm. And then let's just continue to mix these colors a little bit. And then of course go back into the white 
and some of this pink. And let's just hit off the bottom here again. So basically I've put a lot of bands of color and then maybe right down here near the edge, I'll go back to the dark pink and just kind of fill this in. Now I'm gonna be putting some black down here. So I don't know what's gonna pop through. So I wanna make sure I go all the way to the bottom. And again, I didn't tape down my canvas, so I'll have to hold it, but that's okay. You can still see. There, so there's my background. I'm just gonna wipe my brush on the paper towel, grab a little bit darker purple, maybe up here near the top again, I'll just reintroduce just a little darker value. Just a little bit, just to, for my top. It's my call. That's what I want. Now let me clean off my brush. So now I have in my background, I have my moon that's gonna already be white when I peel it. And I have my bird, which surprisingly enough, is gonna be already silhouetted for you. So now what I'd like to do is bring in some grass and some weeds. And for this, I'm gonna be using black. But I'm also gonna start with this nice, rounded, pointed brush. And I'm just gonna take some color and I'm gonna to try to establish really quickly where my weeds are. So we know that the bird is sitting on a weed. So why don't we just draw one that kind of rests on him. So maybe there's a weed that's sitting here, sits under his body this. Maybe it bends a little bit. It's a very light bird. Birds are not often very heavy unless they're very large. And then even then by standards they're pretty light. So this giant little piece of grass blade is going to support the bird that's just kind of flown in, nestled there for probably just a second. He's just surveying the area, looking for something to snack on. So this is going to be the weed that he's sitting on. But I think I want more around him. So why don't we do just a couple more? Maybe there's one more that's kind of sticking here. Bent a little bit. Let's get a little point to that. There. I'm just going to bring that right on down. Maybe right down and into this area here. Like that. Because I'm going to be pulling up some, some longer grass blades down here. So some of this is going to get covered up. And maybe there's just a few little ones that are kind of sticking off of this. Maybe there's one that sticks this way. You know, maybe there's another one that sticks off of this one that's kind of like this way. Just to give a little something that looks like that. So now that's good for right now. And it's also going to be kind of like a, a pussy willow, which has a very big head to it. So I'm going to bring that maybe way up here. I'm going to say that that willow sits through this bird and actually comes out of this stalk. So I'm just going to bring it on down and let it connect and say that the willow is going to sit at the end of there. Now I'll show you what I mean about the willow. We're just going to call it that. So there. So now maybe, maybe, just maybe, I better go just a slight bit higher because it's going to have a really large, rounded area over here to it. We'll get to that in a second. So let's do a few more. Let's look at our moon. And we're going to, we're going to actually peel that moon before we paint these weeds. So let's jump over to this side just so we can get some stuff in so you can kind of get an idea where we're going. So we just pull another weed that's over here. You can make this up as you go along. It's very arbitrary, it's your call. Maybe there's another weed that's connected to this one that's over here. And maybe there's a willow that kind of goes off camera. So I'm just gonna make the, the line for it and then we'll add the head to it in a second. So now, as I said, we're going to peel off our moon because I want you to see this part. So now I'm just going to stick my spatula, grip it at the top, stick it anywhere that I can to get it started. See, even that little bit is good. 
And I'm just gonna take my finger, go in and grab the paper, pull it off at a 45 degree angle, and there's our moon. Now, you don't have to paint it, but you could. But for this video, I'm just gonna leave it so we can move on. I want some weeds that kind of touch into this a little bit. So this is why I'm peeling this off right now. Because right now I wanna take and I wanna pull in, let's say there's a willow that's gonna sit over here that kind of cuts into the moon here. So this is just to help give a little dimension to this otherwise flat painting. So I'm gonna come down here with that. Let me turn this back, keep it straight for you. Again, I should have taped it down for you, but I apologize. And then maybe there's a larger one that sits way over here, but it also cuts into like a small area of the moon like this, so it's coming in front of it because we're looking at it from the from the ground view. And then maybe this just turns in to start connecting all of this stuff. So now, this is a willow, this is a willow, and this is a willow. I already know that. So you have to make up your own. And maybe there's some other little ones that come off of this one, like that. And who knows, maybe there's even a little one that comes off of it again, like that. And then on the other side, let's say we have one that just kind of curls here like that. And since we have a little negative space, why don't we just put a little one that kind of comes in here and maybe overlaps this one just a little bit. Now that's good enough for me. That's where my stuff is at. I'm going to get to the willows in a second, but now I want to pull up some grass down at the bottom. Using black again, silhouetted against this beautiful sky. So to do that, I'm gonna take this flat brush. I'm gonna load it with black on both sides. Keep it chiseled like this. You can go to my website, jrobinsonart.com to see videos on tutorials on how to do things like load a brush, make it chisel. Now down here at the base, I'm just gonna start holding the brush straight up and down and just pull up some little pointy grass blades. Now I'm gonna be doing this all the way across the bottom till I get the look of my desired effect. So some of it could be high, some of it could be low, but I'm just gonna put a lot of little little things here that are gonna be like grass that's just wildly growing all along the base. Remember what I told you, some of those bottoms will be covered, but it's okay. It's okay, and then here I'm just gonna fill. And see those, those tops? That's really what I'm after. I'm after that look. So I'm just gonna keep flipping my brush, almost like an X format, like I go left and I go right, just to get those tops that little wild grassy thing. I'm not gonna worry about those just yet. I'll come back and show you how to use those to your advantage. But right now I'm interested in that. And I wanna do that all the way across. This could be a little swampy area, a little grassy area, we don't know. It's a field out there in America somewhere. Go all the way to the end, go up and now, watch this, see? I'm just gonna close the door, I call it. See those open spaces? I'm just gonna take the brush and put a little paint to close those doors. I'm not going high. I'm staying relatively low just to close those doors so that it looks like a full field of grass now. So I have my tops. Now I have all of my bottoms and that's a good look. So I'm gonna clean off my brush and we're gonna get ready to put in some willows. Now you could use the pointed brush or you could use the flat brush for this. So what I'm gonna probably end up doing is I'm gonna take and get another round brush that I have. Cause I like to use them like pencils. So this rounded brush is a little thicker than this one which made great 
lines and grass. Now I want to use this to make my willows. Because they're like, they have kind of a, like a corn dog shape. So let's go with the one that's off the canvas so you can really get an idea. I'm just going to touch in here to hold my canvas. Now this one is off the canvas, so I'm just interested in the shape now. Just the shape. Like keeping it nice and corn dogish looking. Make sure it connects and there. That's my willow that's off the canvas. Now we have two willows here and a fourth one over there. So let's just put one on this one right here. I'm going to leave the tip and I'm going to come below it. I'm going to make it kind of a arc shape like this because I'm trying to put a corn dog shape. Nothing too huge, but big enough that you can make out what it is. And there's the willow. You see that? That's how easy that is. So now we're going to do another one over here. And again, we're going to leave the tip. Maybe I'll even extend the tip just slightly. Just to come here with it. I don't want too much of the corn dog on my moon, but I want it near it. And I'll come back later maybe with my pointed brush and extend that tip just a little bit more. But there. There's corn dog shape number three and now I'm gonna go for one more right here so why don't we leave that tip alone that's a very nice tip and we'll just come below it and create that corn dog shape there's half of it now I just very slowly and carefully paint in the other half make sure it's centered as best as I can there. So now we have the four of them. And our painting is pretty much done. Now you could have added all kind of different things to your sky. You could even have painted in some birds. You could have put in some clouds. But I just wanted to give you the base idea of how you can be creative with your stuff. So here's my picture. I'm liking the way it looks. I may take and purposely come in and maybe take this line completely off the canvas just to run it that way. And maybe I'll even take, and like I said, I wanna add a little bit of a, of a shape, a little bit of a shape to this one over here, just a little bit. Just maybe right over here. Here just to give it a little bit more of a contour. I actually like that tip, but this one could use just a little hair difference. There you go. So I'm, I'm liking what I have. Um, you could you could do all kinds of things here. You could even fake like there's some flowers here and paint some shapes of flowers. But again, for all intent and purpose, I'm going to leave mine just like that. I'm going to peel off my bird, see what it looks like. Maybe I need to touch my bird up again. Taking my spatula. I'm gonna dig underneath. Just finding an edge there. And look, there's my black silhouette for my bird shape. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. I may even go in with my flat brush just to reestablish some of that black color inside the body like this, just to bring it nice and silhouetted in case the peel went on too fast and removed some of the color, which is okay, because you got the colors that you need to touch up and fix anything you want. And there's my bird. Let's just take our time here, put his head back in. All of this stuff will dry nice and flat when it dries. So there you go. And there's our bird on the weeds. Simple, monochromatic, easy to do, nothing hard about it. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. And again, you could have tons of fun coming up with your own ideas of what you want in your painting, how you want it to look, what you want things to be. Like I said, you could always add some things and I'm gonna call this one finished. Well, thank you for painting with us. Please subscribe to our peel off 
Com YouTube channel so you can see some of the newest videos that have come out with all of the products that we have because we're forever expanding. And also go to jrobinsonart.com where you can find a lot of tutorials and how-tos and some tips, some, uh, some great information and other things that are on that site. So I would definitely take a, a look-see at both. Uh, we, we're doing a lot of good business out here and we'd love to do some more business with you. But anyway, thank you for painting with me. I had fun. Now you push around a few colors and be creative. Till next time, bye-bye.